after knowing why you guys hyped up episode 158 and seeing episode 158 and knowing what's coming and then especially other my other reactor buddies hyping up the manga for post 170 and then we got the movie coming out like black clover even though technically it's ending on the channel soon feels like it's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon so i'm excited i'm very very excited What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 159 and 160. The first one is called Quiet Lakes and Four Shadows. We are kind of setting up this next arc, still kind of transitioning in there, which is fantastic. Just finished training. Six months, I believe, have passed. Asta is absolutely the most yoked mother trucker this side of the Clover Kingdom. And then we have everyone who's increased immensely in terms of their magical powers. But we also have that as well on the other side. We have Zenon, who just apparently mastered devil powers. We got Vanica, who I thought was the big shot, but actually is Dante, who seems fucking badass and is the voice actor of Karitsugu, so you know is badass. But I'm so excited. I gotta hop in this episode, find out what happened. Don't forget, if you guys wanna watch these episodes live with me, vibe out great energy uncut all that jazz come over to twitch twitch.tv slash darius links in it for the description are always down below same thing with the patreon early access full length four episodes don't forget to follow the other social medias instagram twitter and tiktok all at dapper darius much appreciated let's hop into this black clover episode 159 and 160 first one's called quiet lakes and four shadows let's do this <laughs> <laughs> stage two guys weren't strong enough so we're all stage one like we were talking we would be you know i agree with noel though especially knowing what the devils can do we gotta play it somewhat safe somewhat smart you know nice so we can monitor the entire city of talon right talon whatever it's called Alright. Damn, I was like, are we gonna see some more? Some more results of some training? But I say, Laura Petschka is so strong. I just finrolled. Don't breathe like that again. You gotta break this curse. No, finroll. You know what will set you in line? In the pollen from forest. A wild charmy. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> and the pun. A wild charmy has appeared. What is this Pokemon? We're going to deal with a Snorlax just eating with all eating all the food. Look at. I can't get over how brawlic he looks, man. She's like the Monkey Queen now. She's Enma, the Monkey King. So, it's so unique how he has his own, it's kind of like magic, even though it's not magic, it's anti-magic, but he can use that and manipulate that as well. And fly on his sword. Pretty damn crazy. Pretty damn crazy. Ooh, I need to take a bath there. I need, my skin's been breaking out a little bit lately, I need to take a bath there. <laughs> yeah, is it one of you or both of you or what's good? What's the situation here? Okay, Mimosa, I like that answer. Gas him up, but also we got bigger things to worry about. I think Nero has no interest in Asta whatsoever. I think she respects him, but I think if she were to ever get with anyone, it would be like Lumiere, you know? Oh, they try to call her out, try to turn her back on her. Yeah, no. 
God just seems like the type to not date a coworker, you know. Oh, really? Does he like Laura Pechka? I feel bad. He just seems like the type. He's very by the rules, by the book, you know. Good. Never get complacent. I don't like that foreshadowing, but I, I like that he's willing to put his life on the line. Yeah, they seem like they could all be good little friends after this, you know? And, you know, we could save her life and she can, uh, <laughs> she could be queen for a long time. Imagine, though, we'll be, we'll have great relations. We'll be personal friends with the queen of another kingdom. That's pretty damn good. What kind of what kind of ass shot? Oh, yeah, she's a she's a little bit she's a little bit a little bigger. We live to eat. I have some personal friends who would agree with her. So they're like, it's Charmy again. No, that's hilarious. The Golden Dawn headquarters? We're gonna get an update on Yuno's training? Wait, Vice Captain, do we have a moment? A message from Hodge Village? He does look fire in his new little cape. Okay, Vice Captain fucking Yuno? Who are you feeling like? Who are you feeling like? I may have created a monster, that's hilarious. The top of the forest food chain. Okay, he's got a personal vendetta. He's got a personal duty to stop her. He created this monster. Evergreen Vita Valtoria. Really reminds me of Charlotte's magic. Oh. That is cotton. It can just reform. Asa's still up there. <laughs> everyone's dinner. This is our this is our episode this time. Saving everyone's dinner from Charmy. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting. And he just reforms and he'll hit you right back. You really thought that would work, Asta? Come on. Okay, I like it. You're going right through it. Oh, but now, yep. Now you're in goal. Oh! Okay, real haircut. Flying on his winged creation, Wyvern. I think that was what it was called, right? I could not allow your rampage to continue. Invasion of the heat infused ice? How do you have heat infused ice? Okay, so he was able to create a little mini mountain of ice pillars to en and capture. True, true. Okay, we did it. We defeated Charmy Godzilla. I want to see Rill in another high intense situation like when he was against Yuno. When you think of a certain person, that person's right there. Tell her, please. That goddess is Charmy. That was a cra that was Charmy's best moment in the show for sure. Definitely. <laughs> she wasn't a fucking fatty. It wouldn't even work out with Real and Charmy anyway. She's interested in Yuno. And he's on his way back to Hodge. Yeah, this is gonna be something about his... 
Something. Ralph is finally awake. This is Lord Yuno. You've been saying the whole time. They're going to edit on a cliffhanger. I'm going to say Yuno is the son of the Spade Kingdom. Queen Seal? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, literally, no hesitation. Queen Seal. Queen Seal. Under the rule of House of Grin Burial. Until the Dark Triad appeared, exiled the Grin Burials, and ruled over people with fear. So I'm guessing Yuno was one of those exiled Grin. You belong to the House of Grin Burial. He's like Mikasa. He's like the lost Ackerman. You are the. Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. That's n that's nowhere near what I was expecting. I was expecting him to be like a noble or something in the Clover Kingdom. He's the prince of the Spade Kingdom? Okay. All right, you know. Okay, you know. Okay, you know. All right. Apparently, you know, the prince of the Spade Kingdom. Let's get into episode 160 and find out more. Well, actually, he's the prince of the Spade Kingdom. Little did you know. I've known that for a whole five minutes. You didn't know that? I mean, yeah, that's when you think about that in and of itself, it's literally insane. Literally insane. <laughs> Okay, Bell's like, I knew it the whole time. Royalty. I got a prince. <laughs> Asta? I've never heard of such a creature. That's a valid point, though. They were abandoned together, you know? It'll be, an, it'll be another 30 episodes before we find out about Asta. God damn it. Just as my father did. Ooh, that's a dope grimoire. And it's a spade grimoire, too. Flame magic trace mirage? The fuck is man in a corporeal galaxy? I love the way the snow makes the entire kingdom look. I love a snow covered area. This is Yuno's father. That's Yuno's... No, yep. That's like the handmaiden. That's baby Yuno. Oh, wow. Okay, Yuno's got a pretty mom. I see you, baby. I see you, baby Yuno. Seal. Yuno looks a lot like his dad, too. And it's his pop's necklace. I like it. I always like it when the mom chooses the name. I don't know why. That would probably be big news for a kingdom, yeah. Imagine being the Paul Revere just riding through the city telling him that. Through a long, harsh winter. Shouts out to that. Think about how the kingdom was back then versus how it is now. We've got literal, literal devils controlling the kingdom, you know? There's no way he just said his whole title right there. You're not as tough as you seem, Captain of the First Division, Mage Defense Captain Ralph. Like, <laughs> you're not even to say his whole title. Wait. Ralph's dad had wind magic, but Ralph has fire magic? Lois. Lois. Well, he's a baby. <laughs> Wait till he gets a little older before he can... Like, come on. I know, right? <laughs> like, he's still a newborn baby. It really does feel like another elf arc where we're the Zograti siblings feels like we're getting yep that's them feels like we're getting some uh backstory then we're gonna get the full story and then we're gonna get little pieces and pieces and pieces you know so the, the Zogratis siblings it's Dante Vanica and Zenon Oh, 
私が父の言いつけ通りあの三人ダークトライアドの動きに気を配っていればあるいはあの悲劇は避けられたのか Was that like a bad omen that the glass dropped or I thought that was like them actually starting the attack right there But no uh, Yep at one point they planned and attacked the capital or attacked the, the castle She looks like Toga not looks like her but acts like her like just a little crazy Oh, it literally is a mountain of corpses. That's pretty damn deranged. So at this point, they already have the devils. How do they get in contact with the devil? How do they meet the devil? We were told by Ralph that they exiled them, but did they kill Yuno's parents or are they still alive? Ralph's father ran away. Ralph's father was the one with Yuno. Okay. And that's why Ralph was saying, just like my father, I made it through, you know? So they separated, okay. Yeah, imagine a child in this area. That would be horrible. It'd be literally getting frostbite, freezing. Hands is pushing through. So, with barely making it to the Clover Kingdom, he. This is my final spell for you. With his final act of his life, he sent him to the first church you could find in the Clover Kingdom. It makes sense because the Forsaken part of the Clover Kingdom is near the top, right? Like near the north side where the Spade Kingdom is. So, he just dropped them off and then ran them away. So, did he give up his life? Yeah, but he's still pretending like he's holding, you know. And with this, there's just rocks in there, yep. And he killed all of them. Alright. He sacrificed himself. Bro, we knew Ralph's dad for... That was him coming back from the dream. We knew Ralph's dad for an episode. Not even. But he was a real one. And supposedly he's dead. So that's I'm um, so how did Asta get here though? But I gotta give a real one to uh, Ralph's pops, you know. He's getting a call from the Golden Dawn. Wait, trouble? Whoa! By who? Who would dare attack the Golden Dawn headquarters in the middle of the Clover Kingdom? Zenin's here? The arcane stage mage. Arcane stage mage, yeah, that kind of does rhyme. Yuno's like, I gotta go. Yeah, that's what I'm shocked about. They were, they were just in here like nothing. Yeah, it's his duty. He, I don't blame him at all. You go, my man. That man is dashing. Wait, how am I just now processing? We're gonna get a Yuno and Zenin fight within the next couple episodes. I am praying. Oh my god, do I want to see that? His his fit, his fit, and his like tattoo thing right here, a little wavy, is kind of fire though. I can't lie, it's kind of gas. Okay, Stone Man. I like their grimoires. They're all stage zero. Okay, well, they're pretty damn strong. This man can turn into steam. Yep, let me just turn into steam. But we do got stone v stone right here. Wait, that's the arcane mage he was looking for? I respect my man Alec Dora. That's his homeboy. I respect it. What did he just stab him with? Is that bones? We got William versus fucking Kimimaru out here. He has bone magic. Won't lie, bone magic is pretty damn cool. 
Kimimaru is one of my favorite Naruto characters, too. Oh, no hesitation. Spirit form assimilation. Going immediate 0 to 100. I haven't seen you like this in a grip. Woo! Bro, how is Black Clover going to end on 170? We're just getting into the good shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. Talk about some absolutely fantastic episodes. Uh, like, I was not expecting them to infiltrate. First off, let's talk about Yuno. Prince Yuno. He's Prince Yuno. Insane. That man is the heir to an entire kingdom. How is this going to interrupt? How is this going to mess with his plans to be Wizard King? Imagine if he's the heir to the Spade Kingdom and the Wizard King of the Clover Kingdom. I, I want him. Now, actually, that gives us an out. He can be the King of the Spade Kingdom. Asta can be the Wizard King. Me and my homie, we both grew up. We're kings, motherfucker. Like, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. But I was not expecting them to infiltrate the Golden Dawn headquarters. We got Zenin v. William now. And Yuno v. his henchmen. And Yuno can eventually join in. This is getting crazy. And then we still have Vanica, and we still have Dante, we still have Asta, and the rest of the people who have to deal with this invasion. Like Prince, you know, in the goddamn Prince, you know, you know, his mother's name Seal means sky. I like that a lot. It makes sense. I like that. I like that. Um, overall, fantastic episodes. Very hyped for these fights. Very hyped to finish this out. Oh, I want to read the manga so bad when this is done, but I gotta wait for the movie. I can, uh, oh, I don't know if I can. I we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it when we finish it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't know. I'm just hyped. I know you guys are hyping this up as well. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon early access full length. Also, come over here for Twitch if you guys want the full length as well. Check out the other social medias: Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.